Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And right now I'm about to um, do some maintenance on my solar catcher system. This is not solar panels uh, because these are for creating hot water and not electricity. And uh, they run on water. Uh, water is circulated up on the solar collectors, maybe they're called collectors, solar collectors, and uh, it's the one on the roof, the ones, I have three of them, they're up there, and the system is not entirely leak free, so some of the, the water runs out of it, and I need to put some new water in them. And I don't use regular water because if it freezes and it does, if it's if it gets cold here, the water inside of the solar collectors will freeze. So I use this antifreeze. I'll just put it here on my dirty table. And this is in Danish, so you can't read it, but. This is the ordinary stuff to put in your car, so that your car cooling does not freeze. And I'm gonna put this on the solar panels. But to do that, we have to we have to uh, take off the pressure because the the system is pressurized. And that is in the basement. So this is the controller for my solar collector. And more or less what it does is that it measures the temperature up, up at the solar collectors, up there. Right now the temperature up there is 24 degrees Celsius. And the temperature in the water tank is 29 degrees. So when the water is hotter than the solar collector, it doesn't do anything. But um, to put more water on the system, we have to take off the pressure, and this is the pressure um, tank. And inside is some some kind of a, an air holder that uh, pressurizes the water. So to uh, to fill on more water, we have to take off the pressure, and it's it's done down here in the bottom. Which and there's like a bicycle bell right there. And if I take a screwdriver or something sharp, something sharp, like, 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 like a screwdriver there. And point the camera at it. pressure goes out and there's not really that much pressure on it right now so it's almost gone there let's just give it a few seconds and see if it now the water will probably come down from from the collectors because the pressure is gone so yeah there's a little more pressure there so now it's back up so on the roof this stuff really goes down way too far it is goes down to minus 38 degrees celsius that is rather cold we never get it it's never that cold here it might if you're really unlucky, it might go down to minus 20 degrees, and that would be really cold. So, to go down not so far and to save, this is like $10 for this can, two and a half liter of antifreeze. And so, I, uh, I put water in it and uh, to make it last for about 20 
minus 20 degrees it it takes half water and half antifreeze so we'll mix this up and just That's nice. That's about half. And the stuff that's already in the system is also antifreeze, so it should be good. And I'll save the, the rest for summer. It's very typical that this stuff is really hard to, to buy during the summer because all the stores they don't sell any of it, so um, I, I buy a big can of, of this during the winter and I save something for the summer. So let's go pour this in. So we're outside and uh, behind me are the, are the solar collectors and the roof is not really safe for walking on. Uh, it's safe, but um, I might bend it, so I have this mattress that I put on the roof so that I can climb out here and go over here where the filling point is and I'm gonna set up the camera so that you can see this this is an automatic air wind if there's air bubbles, they will be automatically taken out of the system through this thing. I'll have to check this. I'm not entirely sure if this is still good. Well, I took this automatic uh, valve with me inside and what it does is it comes on the system and when the water goes uh, through here, if there's air bubbles, it comes up to this thing and it lets out the air bubbles but it does not let out the, the water. So it sits on top of the, of the solar collectors and if for some reason there's air in the system it's taken out of the system with this thing it's pretty cool outside so um, i took it inside to heat up
So back down here in the basement, it's time again to repressurize the system. And for that, I have a... It's kind of like a tire thing for your car. You can uh, put air in a car tire and it goes in the bottom, 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 bottom of this pressure tank. And there's a gauge. There's a gauge up here, which is just outside of camera view. There. This gauge, and I'm gonna put some pressure into that. Just zoom in so we can follow it on screen. There we are. And it's the black one. So that's about two bars of pressure on the system and I'll go up back up on the roof and check the, the automatic. I shut off the air valve when I mounted it so now I'm gonna go out there and, and untighten it so that the air can get out of there. And it's open. And it doesn't seem like that there is any water coming out of it, so I guess this is okay. It's a perfect grey day to do kind of work like this. On a really hot summer day, it's kind of dangerous to uh, to mendel play with these solar collectors. In a very short time, you might have boiling water in them, and if you have a leak, you get boiling water and steam out of them, and that's quite dangerous. And the system is still pressurized down here. There's still about maybe a little less than two bars. Um, one bar of pressure is of course double the, the air pressure, I think that is how that is meant to be. And now I'm ready for another sunny day. Just need to put the protection cap back on, down here. So that was how I fill up my solar collectors with antifreeze for another season in the sun. Thank you for watching my videos and do subscribe and I hope you enjoy some of this. Um, have a really nice day.